Hi, my name is Ivy and I'm a junior workstyle consultant in the Australia and New Zealand team at Beltran and Company. This is my first role after graduating from university and I started in June, which is right when Sydney went into a lockdown. This means that I've only ever known the working from home way of life. Over these past few months, I've had a love-hate relationship working from home. In the beginning, I really loved the flexibility it gave me in that I could complete my work anytime I would like. However, after the first two months, I started to feel like I was missing out on something. Even though I was talking to my colleagues almost every day, all of our meetings were planned and they always had a defined purpose. So there was a level of disconnect on a human level that I couldn't really put my finger on. So how am I supposed to keep the flexibility I have from working from home, but also gain a more human understanding of my colleagues and my organisation? How can I have my cake and eat it too? While the Australia and New Zealand team at Feltron and Company have recently released a white paper called On the Leading Edge of Hybrid, Lessons from the Australian Experience. We surveyed over 1,500 respondents and we found that people would like to do activities such as socialising and brainstorming from the office more so than any other location. This means that the future office, fit for hybrid times, should encompass a high level of human interactions and human connections. In our paper, we also outline five elements that are crucial in defining a successful office space in hybrid times. Four of these five elements are centered around human interactions. The first is to create a space that allows for people to think as a team rather than as an individual. The second is to create opportunities for socializing to satisfy our social well-beings. The third is to create opportunities for serendipitous encounters, such as water cooler chats and corridor conversations. And the fourth and final element is to create a space that champions the central purpose. This will allow ongoing employees to realign on the company culture and it will give those at the beginning of their career an idea as to what the company culture is and a more tangible sense of their team's dynamics. This means that they can also understand the direction in which they want to grow and develop professionally. If you'd like to find out more about the paper, including the elements that should make up a home working space, I encourage you to download a copy of our paper called On the Leading Edge of Hybrid Lessons from the Australian Experience. Alternatively, please feel free to reach out to myself or my colleagues.